What is going on guys? John here for another food review. And today is Easter Sunday. If you celebrate Easter, happy Easter to you. If you don't, then you don't. So let's get into it today. We have a nice little Easter basket surprise here. We have the Hardee's and Carl's Jr. Moon, Midnight Moonshine Thick Burger. So basically, it's a thick burger with cheese, lettuce, fried onions, and then some moonshine sauce. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to taste like moonshine because that would be kind of gross because moonshine is a very high liquor content alcohol. I don't know if I would necessarily want that on a cheeseburger, but we're going to try it out. So here we have it right here. I can't see at all. These are coming off. Uh, here we have the burger right here. Let me get you in here for a close up. All right, so here we have the Moonshine Burger. Uh, looks a little boring. I guess we're gonna have to dig inside. Here we have some bacon. We have a cracked patty. And underneath the patty, we have our onion straws. There we are, and some cheese and some lettuce. And the sauce down there. So, looks all right. Smells interesting. Let's try it out. All righty, let's eat. It is time to check out the Midnight Moonshine Burger from Hardee's and Carl's Jr. Here we go. Going for the bacon side. Mm. The bacon was actually pretty crispy. Good job. <clears throat> mm. You know what the sauce tastes like? It tastes like that Jack Daniels sauce from Fridays when you have the Jack Daniels wings or the Jack Daniels burger where it's that kind of sweet, thin, almost sort of glaze with the Jack Daniels, almost this kind of bourbon-y. It tastes exactly like that. And there's tons of that glaze all over this burger. Really, really good. Mmm. Mmm. Get some of this moonshine sauce on the bacon. Mm. All right, guys. So the moonshine burger from Hardee's and Carl's Jr. was delicious. Now, mainly because of the sauce that was included. Like I said, it reminded me of kind of the Jack Daniels sauce. It's kind of like this thin uh, bourbon maroon colored sweet glaze that you just kind of... It's like caramel, basically. It's like there's just... It's just like this sweet, delicious glaze that they use. And... Pretty much, no matter what you put it on, it's going to be delicious. You could dip chicken tenders in that, and it would be delicious. You could pour it all over a burger like they did, and it was delicious. You could just drink it, and it'd be delicious. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's basically just a sugary, sweet sauce. So put it on anything, it's going to be good. So the burger was a little dry, um, as you guys saw. The burger almost had a crack in it. Like when the salt flats in Utah are just so dried out, they just start to crack. Like when your lips are chapped and you need to put chapstick on, they're just cracking. The burger was so dry that it had literally cut itself in half because it was so just desperate for moisture that it was just, uh, and it just broke in half. It's terrible. So the bun was delicious. The lettuce was fresh. The bacon was crispy and fantastic. The sauce was sweet, but the burger was as dry as a bone. Even so, the burger was still pretty damn good. So I can't even imagine how delicious that would have been had I got a freshly made one piece patty that wasn't cracked down the middle because it was so dry. So overall guys, the Moonshine Burger is going to get an eight out of 10. Uh, would have been a 10 out of 10 if the patty was just not a demolished piece of sandpaper muck gook, but it was. So there you go guys, the Moonshine Burger from Hardee's. It's basically the regular burger with a delicious sweet moonshine sauce on there and those delicious onion straws on there as well. So pretty solid burger if you get it fresh. There you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.